Hi, I'm Hemant Sampad here at our Boundless XR 5G testbed on the Qualcomm campus, where we focus on research and commercialization of end-to-end -end architectures, algorithms, and optimizations for new 5G use cases. Boundless XR uses split rendering to distribute the computation between the edge server and device to deliver truly immersive XR experiences over 5G. Our testbed uses commercial platforms to replicate an indoor 5G millimeter wave XR deployment. The Qualcomm Technologies VR headset reference design, which is powered by the Snapdragon XR2 platform, provides optimized 5G connectivity and on-device processing, such as perception, tracking, video decode, and reprojection. The Ericsson G Node B provides a 5G millimeter wave to deliver low latency, high-speed wireless connectivity. The content rendering server executes the computationally demanding graphic rendering to provide photorealistic visuals. We're showcasing multiple VR use cases, including multi-user collaboration and gaming running on a single network. As you can see, users one and two are in a multi-user VR collaboration. User three is using a VR gaming application. We now illustrate the processes involved in a boundless VR system. The VR device sends six degrees of freedom head pose data to the Edge Cloud over 5G. The Edge Cloud processes this data and renders a new image and then sends the compressed image back to the device over 5G. The device further processes the image before displaying it. The time taken for this round trip process is called M2R2P or motion to render to photon latency. The 5G round trip time is a key component of M2R2P. High latency causes user experience degradation. The user may observe warped objects or delays in the appearance of new objects. Low latency can remove such errors. We now showcase how our end-to-end -end 5G optimization allow us to meet the stringent low latency requirement of multi-user boundless XR. In this example, all three VR players are using the NVIDIA Cloud XR solution and experiencing 2K by 2K resolution at 90 frames per second. The 5G round trip time is kept below 20 milliseconds and the average 5G downlink throughput is above 50 megabits per second. In real life deployments, RF and interference changes are a frequent occurrence which can cause performance issues and latency spikes. In this example, we see a VR user being blocked from the G Node B by another user causing a sudden spike in 5G round trip time for the baseline 5G system. Our 5G optimizations help minimize the latency spike, providing a seamless user experience. In another challenging millimeter wave scenario, the gaming user rotates their head 180 degrees, which causes a sudden spike in our 5G round trip time. Again, our 5G optimization help minimize the latency spike, providing a seamless user experience. With our system level optimization, we're making boundless XR over 5G ready for deployment at scale. Our testbed with a single G Node B with 100 megahertz system bandwidth can support six simultaneous boundless XR users over 5G and potentially more than 12 users with future 5G features. We have an exciting path ahead to evolve the boundless XR system to include larger networks and augmented reality use cases.